In this video, I will show you exactly how I create websites like this. Uh, the whole process from beginning to the end of what I do, where I take my resources. And there are three tools that I usually use, with, which all coincidentally start with the letter F. And the first uh, resource is not actually Figma. It is a Framer Marketplace. And why it's important to use that, I will show you on a particular example. So after I select a template, I'll just have to open it in Chrome, then click Remix Link. And just like that, I have a ready website that I can launch within a few seconds. But obviously, it's not that easy. That's why you have to watch this video to see exactly what I do, how I take this in Figma later, how I customize it, and how I launch the website within just a few hours. So, for example, there is a client who needed me to create a website for an NFT. And yeah, these are this is just a template that I found. It's a pretty cool framework template. Yeah, you can publish it and you can see how it's on the web. It's obviously optimized for mobile. You don't need to create a, your domain for now. It's just uh, on their domain. And just like that, there is a website all interactive with all the animations and with all the things that you might need for your website to have. It has a lot of section. It has a lot of interactions, animations. All the team members are here. You can click and see some information. Obviously, this could work for other Web3 industries, like maybe some meme coin or a marketplace obviously could work as well. So this could be like a marketplace items. This could be the process and join the community button. So yeah, you can customize this in place, obviously, for many different reasons. But if you have something related with NFT, this template would also work for you. It has some menu and you can click there. So yeah, what I would usually do is go to the Framer and uh, before doing it in Framer, I would publish it and use a plugin called HTML to design to bring the whole design to Figma where you can customize the colors, customize the elements and customize the rest of the things. So that's what I'm going to do. And I brought actually another template to Figma already. So I'll be showing you an example of a SaaS template, SaaS AI project. So if you're building some SaaS project or if you're building something related with AI, that could also work. And the template that I took for that was uh, this one. Let me actually just preview. So this is the AI template for SAS images for the SAS company. And I will actually just preview the link and just basically to show you how it looks like. So it has a lot of nice colors. It, it has purple colors. So if um, my client also has something related with purple colors, it would uh, perfectly work for him. It has a lot of animations, a lot of interactions. It looks more serious than this template. This more looks like a meme coin, right? But if you have something more serious, oops, uh, this could work perfectly for you. As you can see here, it has a lot of sections that a SaaS company might need. This could be as into uh, this section could work as integrations. This section is a pricing. Obviously, they have a pricing specific page with uh, different prices um, that you can uh, see the pricing here. And uh, yeah, it has a nice call to action. Obviously, it has multiple pages, not just single page. Uh, most of the templates, uh, even free template has multiple pages. And by the way, the templates I'm going to show you today are all free. So you can go to uh, Framer Marketplace, you can click free and you can find any template that you want to. But back to our template. So what I did is I bring it to Figma with HTML to design plugin. And here I can start customizing it. I can uh, change elements. Obviously, if we don't have a screenshot or a product ready yet, this could be deleted or replaced. In my case, I, I found this cool uh, vector bento cards. So I wanted to customize them to reflect what my client does. And this way I created this uh, mockup. Uh, it is not hard to create. For example, you can just take a few of them and then you can... Uh, my computer is uh, lagging a bit of all of these things, so I'm going to delete it for now. And yeah, you can... All of these are customizable, so what you need to do is just basically take some stuff and maybe... Uh, it, it even has the ability to choose the dark or light theme, which is pretty nice. So what you wanted to do is basically take all of this and customize for your client. And once that done, you can place it on the website. You can place it inside of these elements. So maybe you can do something like this where I played a little bit with this. As you can see, the colors on these are a little bit different than uh, like if you place it directly on the template, it will not be the same color. So that's why you need to work a little bit with the colors, maybe change some things, maybe change the opacity and uh, 
change the pass through mode, uh, work with some else. And that way you will have these beautiful cards designs and you don't need to do to be a designer to create something like this. In the past, without all of these AI no code tools, you would be you would need to hire a whole team to create something like this, which is now basically when I had customized everything. Let's say I had customized everything for my client in Figma, and then I don't need to build anything from scratch. I can just go back to Framer, the template that I've downloaded, and I can literally just change the text to whatever I need, whatever. I can change the colors, change the components and publish that. And that way the template looks differently from our website because we customized the elements, we customized everything and we can basically launch the website within a few days. To do that, the first thing to do is find the right template. And it's not as easy as it seems because there's a lot of templates that will not work for your industry. Let's say you're building e-commerce website. And a lot of websites here are just landing pages or uh, some company pages which does not have uh, that functionality. So whenever you start building something, you want to ask yourself what type of, type of uh, project you want to build. For that reason, there are a few categories here. You need to find out what is your category. So if you're building a SaaS project, if you're building, building a landing page, if you're building a blog or e-commerce website or portfolio website, all of these are different and all of these needs different component. So that, that's why it's important to find the right component for your website. Let's say I'm building a portfolio website, right? I would click on portfolio in the marketplace I would scroll down here and I would find a personal. So that means that all the templates that I will be seeing now are a personal template. And then I would go and click free just to see around. If I want to build something more serious, obviously I wouldn't want to use free template because a lot of people use them. And uh, most of the times free template have just one page. If you build, if you want to build more serious projects where you have a, your portfolio, where you have a use cases and stuff like that, you would want to go with the paid ones. But let's just look at the free templates. So this way I can find the right template. But let's say in this case, we're going to build some SaaS or AI project. Then we would go here and we would go and click find something similar or related to AI projects here. I think this is pretty much as far as AI, AI can go. I would click here artificial intelligence and I would see all related projects. Another step here is to find a template that reflects your brand. What I mean is if you have a green color as your brand accent color, this template would probably not work for you because the purple is the main color here and it's not just about changing few colors. It is about changing all the gradients, maybe some code. I think this might be made with a raster element. So this means that it's not as easy to change the color here. You would need to go to Photoshop. You would need to open some additional tools to, to change the colors and do stuff like that. So in this case, this template probably would not work for you. And you can see here a lot of the not vector stuff. These are not as easy to change the color. It wouldn't require you some skills and some job and uh, actually not worth it. But let's say a website like this, it has a uh, green colors, it has a uh, AI theme feel look to it. This way you can create something like this. And if I were using the green as my accent color, I would probably go with something like this or even a website like this or like this. So a lot of websites have the similar colors and you can find definitely something that works for you or even something like this, very minimalistic, very beautiful website that you can build for yourself. But obviously, if you, for example, like a website like this, for example, this is specifically for AI, Innova AI. Let's look at the pages here. So you want to build something like this, but your brand color is totally different. Maybe your, uh, your cards are not related. And this is what I exactly can help you with. So if you go to the website nextsaloon.com, this is the exactly the template that I took for one of my AI clients and we customize it to reflect their brand to reflect their colors. So you can see I worked uh, on Figma as I showed before to customize all cards, to customize all elements, to have their website uh, ready within a few days with all the elements, with all of the interactions, with all of the animations. Obviously it looks different from the template because uh, there were some custom sections. Here is just basically brought the framer, mark the framer website to Figma and then all of the elements, all of the text, all of the elements that we need to be customized for my client. I just replace them. For example, we have these cards which are not editable. These, are these were just images, which was a little bit unfortunately, 
But what I did is actually created something like this and then just brought over the components from this file, which has a lot of these beautiful elements that you can customize very easily. So I did it, I made those uh, with the red color, with the red accent colors, which were fitting perfectly on the client's website and which clients really loved. This was a perfect project of showing how you can combine all of the AI tools, all of the marketplace tools, all of the 3D tools, resources that are available instead of creating something from scratch every time. And this way you can have leverage over your competitors, over all of the people who are trying to build something from scratch, even though it's absolutely necessary. Because to build that from scratch, to build a website like this from absolutely scratch, you would need to spend like a, a lot, a lot, a lot of time and a lot of resources to make all of the interactions, all of the animations, all of the customizable elements. As you can see, all of these are were custom made. But the main structure, the main elements were there because my client specifically asked, we like this template and we want to launch our website within a few days. What can you do? So yeah, that's exactly what I did. I customized all the elements. They work perfectly. Everything works very easily. And if you want me to customize your template, if you want me to work on your uh, website, launching it within a week or less, then click the link down in the description and book a free call. And we can discuss that. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and see you in the next one.